Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we observed the step-by-step -step derivation of first and follow. In this session and in the upcoming session, we are going to observe some solved problems on first and follow. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today, we will observe three solved problems for determining first and follow. Observe the first question. Consider the following grammar. So, these are the production rules given. And we are to find out what is the follow of Q. And there are four options given. So, let's try to solve it. Now, if you observe the production rules, P can be rewritten as small x followed by uppercase Q, R and S. Then, Q can be rewritten as small y, small z or small z. Then, we have two more production rules involving R and S. Now, we are required to find out the follow of Q. Now, if you remember the previous sessions, the follow of Q is actually the first of R. So, basically, in order to find out the follow of Q, we need to find out the first of R. Now, why is so? Among all these production rules, if you observe all the right hand sides, observe, in this particular production, Q appears on the right hand side. And this is the only instance where Q appears. And here, Q is being followed by the non terminal R. And that's the reason why, in order to determine the follow of Q, we are required to find out the first of R. So, let's figure out the first of R first. Now, notice the production rule for R carefully. R can be rewritten as W or epsilon. That means the first of R will include the symbols W and epsilon. Now, we know the follow of any non terminal will never include the epsilon. Therefore, in follow of Q, we will have only W. And due to this epsilon, observe, if we derive epsilon from this R, we are going to have S following Q. So, with the terminal symbol W, we are going to union the first of S. So, let's determine the first of S now. Observe the production rule of S. S can be rewritten as Y. That means, the first of S will include the symbol Y. So, therefore, finally the follow of Q will have the symbols W and Y. Now, check out the options. Honestly, A cannot be the correct choice. Similarly, B can also not be the correct choice. And coming to D, it actually includes epsilon. And we already know, in follow, we are never going to have epsilon. And that leaves us with the option C which is the correct choice as it includes the symbol W and Y. Let's now move on to the next question. Find the first and follow of all the non-terminals. So, this is the grammar given. As you can see, it includes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 non-terminals. So, what we will do? We will take all these non-terminals and we will eventually find out the first and follow. Now, in the previous session only, we observed Whenever we try to find out the first of all the non terminals of a given grammar, in that case, we should always start off with the last non terminal in the list. So let's start with E. Now, E's production rule is stated like this that is, E can be rewritten as small e or epsilon. Therefore, the first of E is going to include the symbols E and epsilon. Thereafter, D can be rewritten as D or epsilon. Therefore, the first of D will include the symbols D and epsilon. Now, coming to C, it can only be rewritten as a lowercase c. Therefore, the first of C will include the symbols C only. Now, similar to D and E, the first of B will include the symbols B and epsilon. And for A, the case is also the same. Since A can be rewritten as A or epsilon, therefore, the first of A will include the symbols A and epsilon. Now, coming to S, S can be rewritten as uppercase A followed by uppercase B, uppercase C, uppercase D and uppercase E. And observe, clearly, this is the first non-terminal in the right hand side. Now, first of A includes A and epsilon. So, clearly, the first of S will include A. Now, A being epsilon, if we substitute A using epsilon in this place, then we actually have to obtain the first of B. Now, the first of B includes the symbol B and epsilon, so we will clearly have B in the first of S. Now, if we substitute epsilon in the place of uppercase B in here, in that case, 
we will require the first of C. Try to understand this. In case both A and B are substituted using epsilons, in that case, the first of S can be obtained from first of C, which is the lowercase c. So, in first of S, we are going to have the symbol lowercase c. And with this, the first of S is complete. So, we are done finding all the first of all the non terminals. Now, let's find out the follows of all the non terminals. Now, coming to S, observe. S doesn't really appear in any of the right hand side of any of the productions. Therefore, in the follow of S, we are only having the symbol of dollar. Now, coming to A, observe, A appears in this particular production rules right hand side. So, the follow of A is actually the first of B. And the first of B includes B and epsilon. Now, remember, we are not going to include any epsilon in the follows. Therefore, in the follow of A, we are going to have the first of B, that is lowercase b, definitely. Now, if we substitute this b using epsilon, in that case, the uppercase A is going to be followed by the uppercase C. Therefore, we will need the first of C, that is the lowercase c. So, the follow of A will include another symbol, that is C. Now, coming to the follow of B, observe, the non-terminal B appears in here. And B is followed by the non terminal capital C. So clearly, the first of C will be the follow of B. Now coming to C, C is followed by the non terminal D. Therefore, in follow of C, we will have the first of D, that is D. So we will clearly have D, but we are not going to have the epsilon. But it will be helpful because if we substitute epsilon in this particular D's place, in that case, C is actually followed by E. So, in order to calculate the follow of C, we will need the first of E, that is E and epsilon. Now, epsilon will not be included. However, the symbol E will definitely be included. Now, observe the situation. In both the first of D and E, we have epsilons. That means, if we substitute epsilons in these two places, in that case, C will be followed by the dollar symbol, that is the follow of S. Therefore, in the follow of C, we are going to have the dollar symbol as well. Now, coming to the follow of D, observe, D is followed by the non terminal E. So, we will need the first of E, that is the symbol E. So, in follow of D, we are going to have the lowercase e. Also, in the first of E, we have epsilon. So, we substitute epsilon in here. And that makes D the last non terminal in this entire string. Therefore, D will also have the dollar symbol in the follow of it. Let's now determine the follow of E. Observe, the non terminal E appears as the rightmost non terminal in this entire production rule. So clearly, E will also be followed by the same symbol which follows S, that is, the dollar symbol. So, these are all the firsts and all the follows of all the non terminals in this particular grammar. Let's now move on to the next question. Find the first and follow of all the non terminals. Observe, these are the production rules given. Now, we will perform the same drill and we will begin finding first at first. So, we are going to start off with C, which happens to be the non terminal of the last production. Now, observe this production rule carefully. C can be rewritten as lowercase c followed by uppercase c or epsilon. Therefore, in the first of c, we will have the symbols lowercase c and epsilon. Now, coming to b, observe the production rule. b can be rewritten as small a followed by capital B or epsilon. Therefore, in the first of b, we will have the symbols small a and epsilon. Now, we are done with the firsts of B and C. So, let's proceed ahead with S. Now, S actually has two different production rules. So, observe them carefully. S can be rewritten as capital B followed by small b or capital C followed by small d. Now, initially, we will focus on the first production rule. So, in order to obtain the first of S, we will require the first of B. Now, in first of B, we have the symbols A and epsilon. So, definitely in the first of S, we are going to have the symbol A. Now, since we also have epsilon in first of B, so if we substitute epsilon in place of B, in that case, 
the first of s is going to include the symbol b so we are going to include that as well now observe the second production rule uppercase c followed by d so in order to obtain the first of s we will require the first of c now first of c includes the symbol c and epsilon so definitely the symbol c is going to be there now what about the epsilon if we substitute epsilon in place of the uppercase c in here then in the first of s we are going to have the symbol d so clearly we are going to keep it in here so the first of s will have the symbols a b c and d now we are done finding out all the first of all the non terminals so let's begin with the follows now now coming to s s doesn't really appear in any of the right hand side of any of the productions therefore in follow of s we are going to have the symbol that is dollar now coming to b b appears in two instances of the production rules in here and in here now in this case the follow of b is the terminal symbol small b therefore in follow of b we are going to have the terminal symbol b similarly when we try to figure out the follow of c observe c appears in here and it is actually followed by the terminal symbol d so in the follow of c we are going to have the terminal symbol d itself so these are the first and the follows of all the non terminals of this grammar so in this session we observed three solved problems for determining first and follow all right people that will be all for this session in the next session we are going to observe couple of more solved problems so i hope to see you in the next one thank you all for watching